Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. Something about they're bad because they're working hard while you're working smart. So for some of you, yeah, you could be coming out of a period here with the Ace of Swords and the Hangman where there's like this major spiritual breakthrough that's happening. Maybe you have, I feel like some of you, you, you probably feel like you've actually been in hiding, but like I always say, and we are currently in Mercury Retrograde, it's coming to an end, but this, whatever this setback was, it was preparing you for some type of come up. Yeah, you may be feeling burdened here, but the Ten of Wands does mean that something is coming to an end. Like the Nine of Wands, you, you persevere through whatever this is. So the Nine to the Ten, something is for sure over. Five of Swords, you definitely have been in some type of battle, some type of warfare. Okay, Two of Pentacles where you've been, you know, let's be honest, struggling to try to hold everything together. But again, you have the Ace of Cups here and Judgment. So this is Judgment. All of the good that you've done is coming back to you. I feel like for some of you too, even with this judgment card, like your spiritual team, they're very proud of you. Like your spiritual team, they know that you've been going through some type of battle, some type of hardship. A lot of people could have tried to sacrifice you along this journey. But the Ace of Swords, it's a breakthrough here. A lot of clarity. Wow, the Ace of Cups is still there. Somebody that you really need, like, God truly loves you. <laughs> And then you have the Hermit here and the Nine of Swords. You can have people really trying to look into your life at this point. I feel like people are looking to see, like, are you going through any type of hardship? Are you stressed? Are you depressed? Are you sad? Are you lonely? Someone could be very upset at this point because you are going towards a very beautiful divine connection here. You have new love here. The King of Wands. This also could be for some of you, there's a person that is sort of watching and monitoring you. Or someone here is getting confirmation that a person is coming towards you and they're very upset about this. Someone is very disappointed. Perhaps that you're being pursued by someone or even if this isn't like a, a lover, somebody just hates the fact that you have some type of favor over your life. They don't like this. Yeah. The World card is here with the Ten of Cups and the Five of Wands. This is a lot of conflict, a lot of jealousy and envy, and it has everything to do with your success, the fact that you successfully completed something. You successfully completed a very difficult cycle, and it's a cycle that you've been in that I feel a lot of people have been on the outside looking in, and they've actually been very happy to see you suffering, but it's like whatever the thing is that you've been trying so hard to manifest that has been delayed for you, that's what's coming in. And that has a person very upset. Judgment, yeah. And the judgment is, is that the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, you're going to be very happy. You're in this loving, caring, kind, nurturing like energy. You're caring for yourself. A lot of stability, a lot of security. The tower here, I feel that a lot of people, they weren't expecting this. And it's just like I said before, because I'm hearing, it's like, you've been working smart, but not so hard. Somebody is upset maybe because they have to work very hard while you are more of a smart worker. Somebody just feels like your life, the way it is panning out is not fair. Nine of Pentacles, you have good news and good offers coming towards you. Yeah. Somebody knows that you're, you're in this divine feminine energy and you have a very solid foundation, manifestations that are coming in, wish fulfillment. OK, um, for some of you, it could be a, a serious connection, a relationship, even a marriage. This literally has someone depressed, like really stressed out. The four of swords is here and the three of pentacles. OK, you have some people from your past that are they are so stressed out right now. Like somebody is sick. I'm hearing you don't look like what you've been through. Whoa. Page of Wands here, the Magician and the Seven of Swords. I feel like you're manifesting something very beautiful in your life and you're keeping it to yourself. You're not really sharing it with anyone. The Tower, this is the energy where you're going to just kind of pop out and be like, hey, <laughs> look at me all beautiful and successful. Yeah. And you have more than enough for yourself. You can give to other people. 
This this is why someone is very upset. The star of the six of swords and the six of pentacles. You're moving forward. You're out of some type of entrapment that someone has you had you in, and you're going towards your destiny. The six of pentacles is here. Someone has been obsessed with keeping you in some type of stalemate energy. The devil, yeah. It's like someone has been spiritually attacking your mind because the devil to me is always just um, a play on the mind. Like someone has been attacking your mind in some kind of way because they don't actually want you to go towards you being in union with, with things that bring you peace and harmony. Not just a person, but just you following your... This, this higher level of consciousness, living a certain lifestyle where you get to be in this energy of the alchemist or a magician where you can manifest what you want. Like I always say, peace is so priceless and it's so beautiful, but it's something that so many people tend to, to envy because when you are at peace, when you have a peace of mind, at that point, you're conscious, you're aware, you are awakened. You can see through the illusions. You have to be at peace in order to manifest more peace in your life. Somebody here has been in the background constantly trying to do everything to sabotage your peace or to lead you into some kind of um, self-sabotage like energy. Yeah, someone worked extremely hard here to betray you, to hold you back from this Ace of Pentacles. And they've just been creating illusions here, but the Ace of Wands is here. You have a brand new beginning. You will be celebrated. I mean, this one, two... All of the aces here, and I mean, the ace of cups is all over the reading. But this, for some of you, is like a group. It's people that have come together and collaborated. Some of you are just realizing that many of the people in your life, that they are all a part of some type of group of, like, karmic energies. Even from a past life, they have come into this lifetime to try and stop you. This is coming from multiple directions the three of pentacles here and the three of cups you're leaving one group one community and you're going somewhere else where you'll be celebrated for some of you this could be people that you worked with like they're upset because maybe you're getting a new job or promotion you're moving to a different department you have a group of people that what this really people don't feel like you deserve what you're getting and they're upset about it this could be, you know, in your family. Maybe you're moving somewhere different. You're getting a new home, a new relationship. And they're like, so who are you Who are you to get that? Because what it was very obvious is that you have outgrown something. You have excelled. You've exceeded everyone's expectations. And the, it, it's just this, like, jealousy of, you know, again, who do you think you are? Who 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 are who are you to leave everyone behind and go out and be prosperous and abundant? Two of cups here. For some of you, there's um a lot that's happening as far as like your your partnerships. So for some of you, maybe you're going into very um serious commitments at this time. The Queen of Pentacles is here. You can have a lot of people very jealous and envious of that. You know, it doesn't have to be a romantic partnership, it could be a business partnership. This could be your partnership of, of you and and the divine. Like somebody, it just feels like, well, again, who are you? The chariot. You're just moving forward. Having a lot of victory and success. Nine of Cups. I feel like your heart is finally opening after experiencing some type of injustice. Yeah, you're making a decision. A decision has been made for you to leave everything behind. It doesn't matter how much work you put into a situation. You're leaving it behind now. Queen of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Sun. So this is a very positive shift or change. You could be starting some type of new creative project, and it makes you very happy. This feels like for some of you, honestly, someone tried to get you kicked out of something, or like they wanted you just blocked where you couldn't grow and you now are like breaking whatever the yeah it's like breaking this glass ceiling somebody was constantly trying to put a cap at something i don't know if you have a job where it's based on um numbers or commissions or whatever somebody wanted to make sure that you didn't get past a certain a certain point you know some jobs where there's commissions and things like that People know based on your numbers, they have an idea of your income. Someone here was trying to literally control your numbers, your income. Um, a lot of people nowadays, of course, are into social media, your your number of followers or whatever. Like somebody here wanted to 
knock you down so that you would not be seen. And it feels like this blockage is being removed and you're going to have free range like in whatever you're currently doing or God is going to move you into something totally different. It's like you're going to go into a, a totally new job, department, um, community or whatever and you're going to be very loved and accepted there. So it's almost like someone's jealousy and envy and all of their plots and schemes and scams towards you. It actually just, your enemies were on your footstool. They, they literally just created a new lane for you. The emperor and the seven of wands here. This emperor to me is not a divine, it's a divine masculine energy. But I feel like this is, and this card actually, this is even a female. This for a lot of you, this has someone, someone tried everything to end your business. Okay, yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Someone tried to do everything to end your business. That was the main goal, was to end your business. Now, for some of you, you have a person that's trying to block the person from coming into your life, okay? Because maybe this will be a, a successful business partnership with this person, but there's something that you do that you might perhaps love doing, Okay, someone does not like the fact that you have some type of a contract here that is very, it, it's promising and, and it brings you prosperity and abundance. I keep hearing that song, Mascara. So somebody could be, um, someone could even be into like the beauty industry, health, fitness, um, like influence work because I mean, mascara, like you could be into makeup or hair or something like that. I don't know. Let me find out what is she saying on this song? I always just hear like the hook of a song. I never know the word. <laughs> I never know the words. Oh, okay. <laughs> so she says, yeah, my, my hair and my and my my butt is fake, but so what? I get my rent paid with it. He said, keep it coming I, if I keep my body tight. And they stay mad because I'm living the life. I'm living the life. Oh, most people think I'm shallow because I'm always dressed like I'm going out to the club, but I got to keep up because there's New chicks popping up every day and they want the same things. So I need, I never leave the house without makeup on. I keep mascara in my pocket if I'm running to the market because you never know who's watching you. No, I ain't got a job, but so what? I don't need it when I'm getting everything that I want and everything that I ask for. So <laughs> I don't know if... Somebody out here, if you are taking very well, take it. This feels like an energy of someone feeling like because you are attractive, um, maybe you have sex appeal, maybe you live a bit of an unconventional life. It just feels like there is an entire group of people who are looking at a person as if they're very shallow. Because, like somebody doesn't like the fact the Ace of Cups kept coming out that someone loves themselves. Someone's love for themselves is upsetting a person because I feel the, the, the energy that I'm picking up on, this is a feminine energy that receives attention. Like, it's no doubt about it. This person is attractive. Like I said, they have sex appeal. They could be into the beauty industry or they have some kind of influence. And it feels that there are people who are upset about this individual and they feel like this person is only getting things because of how they look. But somebody just is in a very divine feminine energy where they, they take care of themselves. And let me tell you, self-love is the highest frequency of vibration of, of all things. Like love, that is always going to draw in other things, when you truly love and you value yourself, you're going to attract things that are of love, light, and great value. You know, it's, it's not always that a person is shallow. It's that they have a very high 
vibration. Like they are a vibrational match for beautiful things. They're a vibrational match for wealth and for abundance. They're a vibrational match for, you know, even partners that maybe are very attractive or wealthy or whatever it is. It, this is just a lot of like hateful energy towards someone. And it's based on a lot of outdated beliefs and, and false judgment. Because it's like, you know, people, the eye is, um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Someone is judging a person based on what they look like, but they don't know anything about this, this person. And I mean, this part, it could be you, but I'm just saying, it, it seems that someone is going after a person's business. And it's, it's jealousy and envy because of how a person looks, how they carry themselves. It's like I always say, don't shoot the messenger. Even like people always find something to complain about or to criticize or judge you for. But it's like you will completely miss a message because you picked out one sentence that I said in a 60 minute reading. You know, it's it's that type of energy. Like this is a nitpicking energy. I'm just going to nitpick at you. I don't like that. Okay, yeah. And look here, it's like whoever you are, this is happening to you. You don't need to listen to any of these people. Yeah, because it's a strategy. This is a strategy here. Someone has a strategy to, to go after a person's stability. They know that someone is doing just fine. And they, they're, they're trying to, I don't know, stop a person. Yeah, this card has a word worth on it. Somebody knows their worth. And to have a very promising, like, future or relationship here. You see this, like, somebody has new cars, new home, partnerships, and all these great things coming. And literally a person is out here trying to, like, sacrifice this person or create these illusions about someone here so that they'll be overwhelmed. Overwhelmed, like, confused. And this person, their energy is so high vibing that they're constantly blocking this out. Like, you're constantly blocking this energy out. Somebody here is saving their money and, and doing their own thing. This could, be, this could be a tarot reader. This person is saving their money, okay, making memories, living their life. They're happy. And you have someone out here now is in regret. The whole time, though, this beautiful person, they're sleeping just fine at night. This person is sleeping fine, and they're receiving gifts. Somebody is upset that a person has a, a, the natural gift of, or talent or ability or that someone is just naturally beautiful or whatever the case may be like and also i feel like you know if a person has a partnership they're being treated well in their partnerships it's because of their energy this person just has a very high vibing energy so they're attracting what they want the empress three and ones this person they get what they want taurus energy libra we're in taurus season Somebody gets, they get what they want. They get success. And there's an offer coming towards this person. And someone out here for swords, three of pentacles is, is sad, sad because this person keeps attracting what they want. Someone out here could be homeless. It's also too like this card says homeless, but the word here is the word on this card is failure. Someone has failed to get evidence that a person is low vibration or as people say in karmically, that somebody is karmic. Somebody cannot get any evidence of the fact that a person is low vibration or anything else. So it's like they're just nitpicking at a, a person. Yeah, someone is going to get justice. Real estate professional, someone is going to get justice. Someone is going to keep on making money and and what did I say? Self love. Somebody is just lucky. Like they're lucky. They they their self love is attracting like a new career, better finances, a home, whatever. Like this, everything goes in this person's favor because they are truly just a good person. I don't understand. Like what the? It's pissing me off. <laughs> Here's a six of wands. Yeah, like somebody, somebody has a problem with a person's, like their aura, just, they're the empress.
this is a person who perhaps is lonely or they want this person to be lonely because someone is going towards like a connection. I don't know if this is a divine feminine that I'm reading. You could have, um, you could be constantly being attacked by someone's like, um, their jealous, scorned, like ex-lover, but they're not working alone. They're not working alone. No, it's several people. But this person is, is wearing many different masks because this person is praying to have a family with someone that's going towards this divine feminine. That's a saying that people say, like, um, I'm hearing, you know how people say, um, you can't, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. That's what I'm hearing. But somebody is judging a person saying that, but, but this masculine doesn't feel that way. This masculine is going towards this person that they see as a divine feminine and you have a group of people here that's trying to trap this person. This group is trying to trap this masculine. That somebody is trying to make a feminine look very toxic and low vibrational because they have this promising connection coming in. They want this masculine to leave this person behind. So now people are trying to break up this feminine and this masculine by trying to exploit them in some type of way. And I mean, they're coming up with a lot of crazy ideas to try and do this. And these are men and women attacking this person. All I can say, I mean, it, it seems like somebody has a, a a bright future, a promising something that's coming in that's got a lot of people upset about. I'm gonna pull a few of these cards and close it up. But the card that I'm I'm trying to get up over here is the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, these, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Wands. I mean, that tells you everything right there. The Four of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. This is about someone's sex appeal. Somebody is very fiery, they're passionate, they're extremely confident. The Queen of Wands is someone who, you know, they, they can take charge in any room. Now, you see this person on here, like, she's in her underwear or whatever. This person has sex appeal and they can lure people in with their sex appeal. But that's not to say that this person cannot go and create a windfall of abundance. This is just a very fiery, passionate person. Someone here could be getting like four wands, like I said, going into some type of union. They could be getting a new home, relocating. They have, they have a lot to celebrate. This person is building their own empire, but someone is like hell bent on saying that this person, everything that they are receiving, their relationships and their abundance has everything to do with how they look. Somebody's going to get justice in this situation. You got three of wands. This was coming in. It's justice. Wow. The judgment. Yes. Five of wands. Five of Wands, we know there's conflict. This, these are egos clashing. It's a lot of jealousy. It's opposition, competition. The hangman is here. And then the Three of Pentacles is here in the reverse with the death card. So somebody out here is choosing to for sure not work or partner with somebody. But the hangman is here. This person on this card is, I think this is like, what is it called? Aerials? Somebody could do that. I just, I feel like I'm just picking up a, a divine feminine that is like really, really into self-care. Very fun, very flirty, enjoying their life. This person is improving their life. They're not stuck in a stagnant energy. They have like new beginnings coming after a lot of endings. And there is, the Three of Pentacles is here. There is a group of, of, of people who are, really attacking 
this feminine here. They don't want this feminine to feel like they are supported so that they won't reach their goals. And they're also trying to stop someone from coming in. The Knight of Cups is in reverse. Five of Swords. Yeah. This is like a, a bunch of tactics to try and intimidate a person. But the Seven of Wands is here. This person is protected. Ten of Swords. This is a, a betrayal. It could be coming from a masculine. The Eight of Cups here. And it's, uh, it's really sad because a lot of people right now who are going into divine connections, the person that they are connecting with is also being attacked. Yeah, the Hermit. And then the Tower. And again, it's the Two of Cups, Eight of Wands. It's like... Somebody is trying everything to stop or connect. This has been coming out every day. The Hierophant is in the reverse, and but the Lovers is in the upright. So somebody is not going about something in a traditional sense, but they're still going to have love with like a, a soulmate, their twin flame. Someone is being chosen by their person. And, and you have out here the Page of Wands in the reverse and the Fool card in the reverse. There's a very foolish, immature energy out here. This coming against someone's new beginning. Whoever this is for, I, I would say, child, just keep keep shining bright like the diamond that you are because the only reason why so many people would hate someone like this is because clearly they're doing something right. This person may be, um, I'm hearing age ain't nothing but a number. They're young, but they're ready. I feel like I'm picking up on like a divine feminine and a divine masculine. This is like where people will judge you because of how you look and because of your age. These are a lot of people who feel like you can't have a certain level of success in your life because of how you look, how you present yourself you know, your age or whatever. But this is the page of pentacles here. The page of pentacles could be a younger person. Pages usually represent younger energy, but they're still a person that is setting goals. Like they're setting goals. They have a solid future, a new beginning. They have a lot of potential. But this is someone that, you know, is being attacked by friends, family, lovers, like the friends and the family, even of a person that they're connected with. I just feel like there's a very... um. I picked this up the other day too, like this bohemian vibe, like feminine energy. These are just feminists though who are living their life limitless. Like they're outside of the box. You can't put them in a box. You're not going to force them to talk or, or, or live a certain way. But however they're living is bringing them a great deal of success. And everyone is attacking this type of energy. But like I said, whatever this divine feminine is doing, it's working for them. And that's why everyone is upset. The four of wands, the three of wands, this person has nothing but blessings and abundance coming in. But someone is trying to end a long-term partnership that they have with their counterpart. Or someone is trying to sabotage their business. Someone could even be trying to sabotage the business or the finances of a divine masculine that's possibly connecting with this emperor. I mean, this empress. It's a woman out here who could go to jail depending on what they've been doing against this person. Thief and mature man. You have thief, mature man, and here's a wealthy man. Main man. Lovers. This could be somebody's ex. Or this could even be um, someone's father. 
so there's a divine feminine out here who could be dating someone. Their father may have a problem with this divine feminine. Yeah. A father figure, a mature man. Somebody Again, somebody is really just judging a person based on how they look, how they live their life. Main male, mature man, and thief. Thoughts, pathway. But I feel like somebody is still thinking about this feminine. They still want to take like this spiritual path or journey with this person. There's changes that are happening though. Someone here is expecting bad health or yeah. And if this is somebody's father or something, uncle or whomever, this person better mind their business because somebody out here is going to the extreme and they're in bad health and they're going to be facing poverty. This person could face some type of serious loss. Yeah, because they keep coming against someone's prosperity, their abundance, their new beginning. This could be a father literally um, trying to dictate it or even a mother trying to dictate and control a person's new beginning. It's a new beginning, a spiritual pathway that leads to sudden wealth. Um, maybe even a, a child or a gift of some sort. But you have a person out here that is working very hard to try to make sure that a person is in despair. That could be for someone or this could be just the same like the same energy. Someone here has has dealt with a lot of just hatred. A lot of people like turning their their back on this person because like I said of how they look because this person is choosing to live their life being very authentic. A lot of people have judged this person, judged them by, based on the cover. And also too, this could be a divine feminine. You could have a masculine that's coming into your life and you, your father or mother could feel like whoever this masculine is coming, they could feel like, you know, that person, because of, you know, who they are, how they look, what they do, they're not a good match for you. I just feel that right now, I'm picking up on the energy of a lot of divine feminines and masculines that are choosing to live these very unconventional, you know, conscious, eclectic like lifestyles. And you have these more traditional friends and family who are really trying to come up against these individuals for choosing to live their life the way that they want. There's this death energy though, this is ending for new beginnings to come. And some people with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, you're really gonna have to get away from your, your friends and family, the people that you've known for a long time, if you want to actually have success in your life, in your business. Yeah, and, and with your counterpart. Look at these two together. This is what's coming. Three of Wands and the union is coming. And this has someone sick and depressed. This is someone from your past. Someone from your past that gave you, you see this card? It could be a mother figure, father figure. They gave you, um, they gave you something in the past, you know. They gave you some type of wisdom or guidance, but you chose to go in a different way. The nine of pentacles is a, is a very independent energy. You 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 know what I'm saying? It's like I say that all the time. You don't raise your kids to be who you want them to be, you raise them to be the best version of themselves. If somebody doesn't like the version of a person that is their best self because it, it doesn't, they just, they don't agree with that type of lifestyle or whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter. 